Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to some more auction. Not included with the all achievement run, and some of you say this is probably ambitious for me, and you are com completely correct. Um, I am aware that this is a completely ambitious uh, achievement, or you know, a goal for me to do, especially in my first like second series of, uh, of the of this game. But I want to try it nonetheless, and I guess that's kind of fun and challenging for me is learning the game, but trying to do something challenging at the same time. Um, so the to begin this episode, I'm going to go over kind of what needs to be done. And I, does that mean it's going to get done this episode? Probably not, but I will do my best to do as many things as I can. So a couple different things is that we need to work on our ranching. We need to get more hatches. We've got two in here. Not enough. We need to get more. Uh, we need to figure out our CO2 problem down here. I began this with putting a carbon skimmer. We need to get a sieve down here, get that researched, and get that going. We need to worry about our temperature overlays here. We need to at least early tame this thing. We need to at least close it off and stifle it until we can figure out how we want to cool it down. We have a cold biome way up here, but ideally I wanted to see if we can find something closer. So we'll explore around a little bit more, um, but we need to go ahead and start insulating our base or we're going to die to heat, unfortunately. We need to move these things down and around somewhere else um, and make sure our heat isn't like, you know, getting rid of, uh, heating up our water too much. We need to make our tank bigger. And then we also, I think we put some showers up here. Uh, I had, someone mentioned a great idea uh, to put the showers in our nature reserve for an even larger morale bonus. I just love the idea of that in general. We can also put some, you mentioned you put some shine nymphs in here and just have natural lighting in this area. I think that's really cool. Kind of a different thing. I'm trying to get it done. Um, I was thinking about getting these Ponku over here, wrangling them and putting them in this tank uh, so we can start feeding them. I don't really know what we need to feed Ponku, but we're going to figure it out uh, because that'll give us, um, that'll give us some, uh, fry meat that we can, or I think it's fry meat. I think so. Yeah, but we can get uh, fish meat as well because I believe that counts. So we have a lot to do, a lot to focus on. But those are just some of the ones that I'm going to try to focus on today for this episode. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and jump in. Once again, I appreciate all the feedback on this series so far. You guys have been super helpful. And if I don't complete this, I don't, it's, you know, we learn lessons, you know, lessons are learned. Um, but we're going to try our best to at least get all the achievements done as uh, much as we can. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and start playing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is before I'm going to get like major started, I'm going to put two ladders here. That way things just kind of fall down here um, and the dupes can easily access instead of going all around. Uh, that is a great point that someone made there. Um, I am going to try to negate this as much as I can. And probably honestly what I'm going to do is I'm going to make like a too high box. That way the decor uh, morale bonus doesn't, you know, uh, spread too much. So we'll have that two box there and uh, have that going for us. I'm going to play on slow speed for right now. I'm going to go and insulate my water box here uh, just to keep our water from overheating or doing anything crazy. Um, but I want to do that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it this same height and then we're going to go and insulate this way. And I got to be careful not to stifle this mealwood. So I think this is where we're going to have our water. Uh, we're going to need to push this water over, but I think this is going to be my water box right here. I'm going to try my best not to worry all that much about being symmetrical and all that. All right, what do we have? Research complete. All right, so let's go and get some research done. Um, so you guys are going to work on sweeping up our base as well, cleaning it up, getting all of this, um, get our decor back up because that would be extremely nice. Right, let's get a duplicate skill. Hitch has got a new duplicate skill. Uh, we have increased carrying and supply, uh, supplying. I think I'm going to do that. Ooh, actually tidying. Let's do that because we are working on that. Hostile Buffalo. We're going to throw Hostile Buffalo into, I don't think we really need to throw her into anything right now, but I think I'm going to do tidying as well just to get that early bonus on that, uh, early strength on Hitch and yeah, looks good. Um, for research, Danzy is working on that. Let's see, we've discovered temperature modulation technology. So if we look at our do, 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 oxygen, um, now one thing I need to make sure that I, we have plenty of algae. If there was a, cause we have 36 tons of algae. So if we didn't have that much algae, then we would need to go early into an early spawn. I'm not worried about right, that right now. When we do need to start worrying about a spawn is when we're running out of algae and we also need better power generation. Right now, our power is OK. We definitely need bigger batteries um, and we need someone that operates this almost all the time, because one of our other achievements, if you remember, if we look at our colony summary, is this super sustainable generate 240 thousand kilojoules of power without uh, using coal, natural gas, petrol or wood generators. So that leaves us with the hydrogen generators. So we will probably need to find some hydrogen. We could probably make this pocket right here, make a pocket that goes up and just create a hydrogen um, kind of like where it goes up. And then we have a generator up here that brings this hydrogen gas down to like a generator right here. I mean, have that as an early setup. It could be an early spawn. It won't be long term at all, but hey, it could make some use. So we can go ahead and start kind of hollowing this out. And I think I might do that just for also the exploration sake. The only thing 
is temperature. We're gonna have to close this off most likely. So what we're gonna need to do is probably put some insulated tiles here and have just this as a hallway right now, because this is our main base. We have our hatches here. We're gonna eventually make more hatch farms this way. And we also, this Absolite, we have a lot of Absolite breaks it looks like, and it's not boating well. I mean, we're surrounded by heat. Surrounded, other than up here. And this is going to fend it off up here, but other than that, we don't have much going on for us. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing a lot of insulation jobs right now. I think where I'm going to end, I think this is a good size bedroom. And if we look at the bedroom size, let's take a look at our rooms. So if we look at our bedroom size, uh, it is going to be a 96 tile, I believe. So if we look at the barracks, and we can do luxury barracks at some point, um, 64 tiles. So let's see where we're at right now. We are at 52 tiles. So let's take a look. If we do, I see that's, uh, let me let me just go ahead and see where the 64 is going to end up. 64 is up to here. So right there, if we put our insulated tile right there, that is our barracks right there. That's where we're going to want to ins start insulating things. So I'm going to go ahead and start just saying, hey, this is my insulation wall. So we can go ahead and start protecting our dupes from all of that uh, heat. Uh, so we're going to want to just say, hey, that is going to be our wall. And we're going to try our best. This is this is going to be probably where the base ends. Um, actually, probably up here. We'll probably build. It's going to be it's going to get a little weird in terms of sizing, but that's OK. Uh, then we can have, you know, maybe showers up here uh, and then have this part of our natural reserve, which is going to be good. I'm going to leave this millwood here, though, because we definitely need it. But we definitely want to block the heat from this because it's going to stifle the growth. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of the room overlay. I'm going to go ahead and kind of line this up. This is going to be kind of a. Um, a not uh, symmetrical base. It's going to be kind of have some oddities to it for right and for the beginning, at least I could go this way. And if we look at the heat there, it's not as bad. I mean, it's still kind of eh, but we can at least have a insulated tile here and our dupes can go this way and explore if we really want to. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a gate. Uh, so we're going to plan on having showers on this row. And I think I'm going to have well, we don't want to break that app slide as much as possible, though. So I'm trying to think of where our best way to get out of this is. And I think right here is probably going to be it. So we're going to want insulated tiles here. We got to be careful with this uh, polluted water here, so we don't want to get into that too much. But I'm not going to worry about that at the moment. I'm going to at least protect most of our base. I think this is going to be fine here. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm it's, this is probably going to be a shorter room, which is fine. So we'll probably say end at this absolute and we'll go down. And this is where our dupes will exit. And then we'll have our nature reserve over here. And the absolute should naturally uh, keep our base from overheating. Uh, as you can see here, this bristle blossom has no light. So once again, that'll help if we have some uh, what they call it. I'm going to cancel this door, actually, because this is actually where I'm going to put showers. I think uh, we need 120 here. So I want to I want to be careful with how much I use here. So 24, 30. Uh, I think we're getting close. It's hard to measure this, unfortunately. That is about let's see if we minus uh, seven or so tiles. Oh, we I think we got plenty of room. I think that's about I'm going to say that's about 47 tiles. That's about. Yeah, I think we're going to have plenty of room to go ahead and add these showers here. I'm going to go and dig this out, and if we need to fix it, we will. Um, but I'm going to say, hey, this is going to be a five high room for right now, it looks like. And then we can put we can put tiles here if we need to. So um, we'll put a couple of showers there at some point and then also make this to where the dupes can get up here and collect this food if they need to. Uh, we also want to dig up that so they can climb up that easily. Have a couple of showers there. And we can put a door here if necessary. Um, and I am going to go ahead and just kind of close this in with tiles at the moment. Uh, probably not insulated tiles. We'll probably save those for up here. Um, we just got to make sure we don't dig up too much of our nature reserve, which we're fine. This up here alone keeps it as a nature reserve. Um, but let's go ahead and put these tiles here just so we're kind of closing it off and not using up all of our space. OK, so that is kind of the first part of our. I guess um, insulating going. Um, we do want to I do want to bring it further down and we do have some bomb lilies here, but I'm, we got plenty of other ones. So I'm not going to worry about this. We do have this kind of gas here. We could probably just kill it by filling it in. Um, it's not a, I don't think it's a lot. That's you know, 2,600 grams. Um, it's not kilograms. So I don't think that's too bad. But we don't want to let it in just yet. We have to figure out what to do with this exactly. Uh, I'll probably think of something. and I'll come back to you guys. Um, then. Once again, I'm going to play, kind of play this. We're looking for more hatches. Uh, you guys are keeping that powered up. We need a bigger battery for sure. We also need a smart battery. Um, I think smart batteries actually do work with these. Do they work with these? I don't know. We have to look at our automation and try to figure that out. I can't remember if those work with those or not. Um, but I do want to insulate this over here. Um, this should be fine. But right here, this is where a lot of heat's going to come in. So I'm going to go and insulate down probably to here. 
I'm trying to think of where I want my base to end and join up. And I think this Absolite is a great um, indicator of where our base should start and end. Um, I'm going to have to probably dig up some of it at some point. Um, but this is going to be, like I said, this is going to be a very interesting base to do this Absolite because we want to kind of use it to our advantage. Um, up here, like I said, we're going to kind of close this off. And I'm probably going to have, it's going to be hard for gas to flow up here, especially if we're going to close it off. Um, so we need to be careful with our heat generation. Um, so we might just have to have like the generators down here above the heat, which is fine. And we can have a ladder go up and we have a door. So, you know, we can say that is going to be, well, we'd have to have a liquid lock if we want to protect too much of it. Mm. I think this would be fine for now. I'm not going to worry about it long term, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of this so we're not getting too much heat. And then I think we're going to go up because this is going to be kind of a lock for us. And then we can have maybe some generators up here. Maybe go down one, maybe have our generators right here and then have all this like have an electrolyzer sitting somewhere in here. And then that produces that's not a very big pocket, but we can dig it out and we could probably make some more room for us. There's a lot of chlorine up here, so we got to be careful with how we dig that out. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go put tiles down there. And I do want to make sure this is a four high. Um, so let's go ahead and build that out because this is going to be another room for us. OK, that looks good to me. So instead, if that's our four high, we can probably make another four high and say that this is where this hallway ends. So this is gonna be a hallway right here. It goes up to another room and then we can have this go into our nature reserve. And this can be maybe like a some kind of block for us. I don't exactly know what yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along. But I'm trying to just go ahead and kind of plan out our our temperature protection because like I said we're we're in a we're in a bad situation being surrounded by all this heat um so I think this is what I'm going to do for right now and call this um our kind of I want to I want to protect our dupes from the heat as much as I can so we're going to do that I'm going to go and dig some of this out and so those jobs okay one thing I've noticed is that we have some polluted water off gassing so we need to take care of that as soon as possible we're gonna have to dump it somewhere you can see here that we got polluted oxygen kind of flowing through the base now it's not a massive problem but we want to probably get a deodorizer set up so I'm gonna go and throw a deodorizer in here and we have plenty of sand so you can see that we've got some bad oxygen floating here and there um hopefully it'll float into one of our deodorizers um but I kind of I've kind of left this for way too long um so we need to put one at least somewhere in this area if possible man need to put it here and have it float here um, we're eventually going to want um, fire poles, so I have a, probably have a fire pole on this side for right now, um, but we're going to throw a ladder right there and put, uh, actually you put an airflow tile if we really wanted to. That way it can get the any um, bad oxygen coming through there. So we'll set that up, get it to the priority six so that they handle that. And that way the uh, polluted oxygen will just kind of get out of our way in terms of bathroom, which, you know, begs the question. It's like, hey, should we go and set up our plumbing? And yeah, we probably should. So I'm gonna, once we get a lot of this done, I'm going to dig this out and move this water um, so that we can go ahead and start making it a little bit better for our dupes. So I'm going to say dig that out and deconstruct this and then hopefully find a hatch or two within these some of these spots. So Dirk Souls is running on the wheel. Uh, he doesn't have to ranch at the moment. Um, we do have all these sweep jobs going on. Hopefully we'll start working on that. Once again, it's just a lot of different jobs you guys are having to handle, unfortunately. Uh, let's take a look at our morale overlay. Uh, let me make sure I know. Okay, dec decor overlay. Not great. It's because of all this, you know, junk that's sitting here. So as you guys slowly sweep this up, we will eventually have, um, we'll eventually have more uh, morale bonus, which would be very helpful for our lovely little dupes here. Also, you guys were telling me shift is actually really nice. Oh my gosh, that is nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Shift shift works really well. Um, so you guys mentioned like I, I kind of was drawing my power cables and ladders everywhere and i did not know what i was missing and according to you guys there was a lovely shift hotkey where i can just make it go in a line and that is wonderful thank you for that tip as always um so pneumatic door manual airlock yes we want well I, uh, yeah okay so i want to uh, i want to airlock here so this is probably where i'm gonna keep our basic power um because it's gonna be in a heated area and we actually have cooling over here so that may be pretty beneficial to us oh we have a cool salt slush geyser oh that's perfect okay so we can actually use this guy to cool our water down here so i think we found our water sources um so this is cool so this is brine we can make salt from it and it's cold so we can either heat it up and we have wheeze warts as well what how cold is this Negative 21 degrees celsius okay so this is okay it's good that we found these early uh we have our regular water and we have our brine water these are going to be really helpful for the base sustainability in terms of water and spawns. Um, so we want to get that set up as soon as we can. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and enable auto bottle here so that we start filling this out because I want to start building with this. We have a lot of gas. Wow, this is a lot of gases in here. Huh, okay. Oh, there's a lot to do, a lot to do. But yeah, probably going to start working on taming this guy and this guy down here. They're very important for the longevity of our base. Uh, I would like to find maybe a hydrogen or natural gas just so we can find a better power solution. Um, but once we get uh, some of the research done, we are going to focus on the water sieve. I'm kind of playing it slow at the moment just so we're not you know, going too crazy, but bring you guys in when there's some important things happening. OK, so Danzy completed some research for us, so we're going to go in here and there's a couple different things that we can go for. Um, we can go for the power generation here, which we get a bigger battery and, would, you know, it would offput less power, which I think we really need to do. We need to focus on our power. We're not we can't. Where is my power? Where where am I going? Uh, there it is. So, yeah, I think we need to go ahead and go for power and go for, for, for smart batteries. Um, that way we cannot worry too much about losing power. Um, but we do need to worry about kind of how we're going to generate power. Uh, you know, we can't use anything but, you know, hamster wheels and hydrogen generators. So I'm probably going to go for the sound amplifiers here first. I feel like there was something else I wanted to go for, but I'm trying to make sure I'm not skipping over anything that's important for our early game. I don't think we need medicine just yet. Uh, we don't need pathogen diagnostics. I think we're okay with our ranching. Uh, we do, we may want to get Haku. And I don't know. We need to have the fish release, which we have, which is good. And then we have a fish feeder. So I think that's all we need. I don't think we need this anymore. So let's go for our power down here. Let's get these smart batteries and make sure that we have those going for us. We're eventually, we're probably gonna want an oxygen mask at some point, I don't know yet, but we're not really in that. We're trying to make sure that we have a lot of our initial base set up. I think after that, we'll go for the um, basic automation and lighting so we can get those extra morale bonuses for people's uh, jobs. Uh, we also need to worry about food. Food is gonna get low and we need to worry about it. I think after that, we're gonna go for, mm, we can go for sanitation next. No, 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 we need power. We're going off small batteries. We're way too late in that. So let's go and get our batteries and grab those. So let's do that. And Dandy will start working on that for us. So food generation, mush bars. One of you guys mentioned, hey, probably don't do pickled meal. And I completely understand. And instead, we're going to probably do the lice loaves. Uh, so let's go ahead and do lice loaves forever. And let's turn these off. We're not doing those. Uh, we, don't, we don't have the grill work, working at the moment. And if we really need to, we could do mush fry, uh, mush fry uh, which is not great. It's not it's it's really not great, but it's it's better than nothing. Uh, it's going to use dirt and water, which we have plenty. We have plenty of each. Um, so let's make, you know, let's make mush fry as much as we can. Uh, we don't have mush bars yet. Uh, but let's see, do we have anyone who's cooking? Yeah, Evan will be cooking as long as he, yeah. So Evan, if he can cook, he can cook. And then we'll store all of our food in here. And uh, we have plenty of food. We have 16, well, I say plenty. Um, that's enough, I think, for... I don't know the exact math. Uh, if you want to know, <laughs> I won't be doing exact math in this um, in this playthrough, and probably only ever. Um... Unfortunately, I just don't have the time to do that. Uh, you know, I, I can't do this full time. And this is one where, you know, me playing the game is spending a lot of my time anyway. So unfortunately, I don't have the time to do the exact math and put it on the screen for you. But if you do want to do the exact math and, you know, let me know, I would I would love that, too. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm going to just say, hey, we're looking good on calories for a little bit. You know, we're at 14,000 now. So we really need to start working on getting that done. Um, and then we can start doing, you know, or start cooking up uh, something a little bit better for our dupes to eat other than, you know, muckroot. Because uh, we are running out of muckroot. Uh, bristle blossoms, we could probably get some of these bristle blossoms going. We probably get a light up here, which you guys mentioned we can get a shine bug. Uh, we don't have any eggs, I think. No, do we have any shine bug eggs? Let's take a look and see if we have any shine bug eggs. Uh, resources. Do we have shine bug eggs? Shine, not shown. We have one unit. Okay, so I want I, I want to know where this thing is. Show me where it. Is. Oh, it's up there. Okay, can we grab that? Can we move this and put it here, please? That way we have this shine nymph going around and lighting up this area. Well, uh, it should fly down. I think it should fly down through there. If it doesn't fly through, the, ooh, it may not fly through those. So it may have like a couple different shine bugs. One in here, one in there. And can I actually move you? Can we move? Yes, we can. So let's move this one to here. And that way, you, this is a well lit area, um, and you guys can actually have decent showers when we get in here. Uh, you guys are digging out this area for me. So what I changed about this area is that I'm going to have this as a lower area. This is where kind of like our electrolyzer and um, and uh, this is where I'm going to do a basic spawn. So I'll probably have like electrolyzer up here and then connect it up through there. Uh, our hydrogen will have to flow through this somehow. I we'll have to figure that out. Exact uh, logistics behind that. 
or put the electrolyzer up here and pump the oxygen into our base. It's gonna get hot in here, unfortunately. There's not a good way to cool this until I start working with this biome up here. We can get these wheeze warts and cool it that way. Uh, that is an option. I would need to look at the logistics of that again and probably figure it out, sit down and figure it out. So uh, that's my plan though. We can probably uproot these, get these down here, cool it off, or we can use this biome as a coolant and pump, uh, get some radiant pipes and get some coolant going that way and cool off our oxygen. That is a thing we can do. So we get our oxygen, pump it in, maybe pump it up through here and then pump it through the base. Something like that. That's a long, that's a kind of long process. Uh, we can probably do something different with it, but this is our coolant right here. So this is what we're gonna use for it. Okay, one critical error that I have made is uh, we have finished power regulation, which is good. We'll have to replace our small batteries with a big battery, but I need this. I need the incubator. We need those immediately. Um, if we have eggs, we want them to hatch as fast as possible so we can put these hatches here and get that done. I'm gonna figure out some automation. I think there's some automation where you can get those eggs. Uh, duplicates will probably pick those up, put those in, in, in here, um, but we need to get those incubators going, honestly, as fast as we can uh, because we need those eggs to hatch quickly. Um, we are gonna close to a new uh, printing pod, so hopefully we'll get something good out of that. And I'm gonna also gonna fix this right here and make sure that our hatches have a proper room and then dig this out. We wanna make sure that we uh, leave this polluted water alone as much as we can. I'm probably gonna have to dig out some of this abyssal line right here, but it's okay since it's right here um, and it'll, it'll still kind of connect up to our base just fine. Um, another thing, once again, I haven't started on this yet, but I am going to work on it once we get our water sieve. Uh, we don't have that technology yet. But right now we're sitting okay with this. We're not having to go down here for very long, uh, but we are going to get this up as soon as we can. Oxygen's looking good. We're not too bad. Uh, there's some polluted oxygen here and there, uh, but we do have our electrolyzer protecting us here, and we'll eventually want to get that better plumbing going. Um, lots, lots to do, lots to focus on. So, you know, we're, we're taking one thing at a time, but um, I'm trying to make sure that we have uh, plenty plenty of uh, hatches first and right now i haven't seen any hatches i am going to probably dig down here there's actually some food in here we can gather we have some bristle blossoms and this is actually making them grow kind of it's kind of halted them but it's better than nothing we have muckroot right here too um so we can also make this a nature reserve over here as well we have to have several nature reserves so i might make this one another one so we'll probably dig down here and put a ladder here just so our dupes are uh, having uh, that go for them all right, so we now have a printing pod. Let's check and see what we have in here. Uh, duplicate skills first. Let's focus on that. Evan, let's get him grilling too. Let's get that done as quickly as we can. Um, Kevin, you are a digger. You get that digging skill, son. All right, so blueprint. Uh, we have a snazzy suit. Not really bonus, uh, not what we need. We have medicine and agriculture. Decent. Um, not the medicine part, more the agriculture. And you also have increased agriculture. Uh, we really don't need agriculture at the moment. We need, we need, um, uh, ranching pretty badly. Uh, none of these dupes are, are really honestly that great for us. That has decreased. You're definitely not coming to the base. Sorry, Nicola. Liam, you have count decreased calories and decreased medicine and you have nine. Or, so unfortunately, I just this could be decent for us, but really none of these dupes are. I, I, I'm going to have to I think, I'm gonna have to, you know, maybe get this just for the heck of it. But I honestly, I don't want any of these dupes. I know we need dupes to feed. Um, the feed, but we honestly don't have the food to feed them in the first place. So I don't want to put my colony in a detrimental situation when we don't even have the meat to feed and start working towards that objective just yet. So I'm gonna get the snazzy suit. And who are we gonna give this snazzy suit? You know what? Dirk Souls, you're, you are the saving grace of this base right now with the uh, ranch harvesting. So you get you a snazzy suit. Dirk Souls, I'm glad to give you that. Hopefully he starts wearing it. I think that, yep. So Dirk Souls is gonna get that. He's gonna put it on his snazzy suit. Look at Dark Souls. So happy. All right, we have starvation. Who's starving? Where are you starving? You're starving on the toilet. Don't do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this. Ooh, no, no, no. Don't do that. Let's leave. Let's do this for right now. We'll leave that here. We're kind of growing. Well, it's actually halted because of the body temperature. Maybe we can fix this. Maybe. If we can get this done. Actually, let's get these insulated tiles done as soon as we can, if you guys don't mind. Um, Honestly, these are pretty important at the moment. I want to get make sure the base is protected from that. Uh, so if you can reach them, get them, get them done. Uh, we are going to leave that here because we want that meal wood. Um, but we also need to get our nature reserve fixed. Oh, it is fixed. Great. OK, so this is going to actually help us a lot, too. Uh, before it was broken, when I was like kind of doing things and uh, once I was kind of, you know, uh, what, what am I looking for? Man, my brain's messed up today uh, when I was uh, doing things off. Uh, off talking, off recording, um, the nature reserve broke, so we got that fixed. 
Um, I don't think there's anything else to report, so I'm gonna go work on the base a little bit more, and I'll come back with you guys. Okay, to bring it back for just a second, I think one of our dupes has not had a bed. I think it's Hitch. I think Hitch has been sleeping on the floor. Um, but yeah, so we have Hostile Buffalo, we have Dark Souls, we have Danzy, we have Evan, we have Kevin. Yeah, Hitch has not had a bed, so let's get Hitch a bed as soon as possible. And the next dupe that we're gonna have is actually going to be, um, once I find a dupe that I like, uh, we're gonna have a uh, new dupe come in, and it's for one of our new members of the channel. Uh, welcome to the channel. I'm glad to have you here. And that new dupe, when we have them, is going to be... Let me make sure I've got the name right. I want to make sure I say the name right, other than, uh, you know, saying something wrong. Uh, we have T Run. So that is going to be our new dupe once we get them to you. Thank you for your support, and we'll get you into the colony once a uh, new dupe comes across. So uh, we're going to replace these batteries right here. These batteries are honestly pretty gar uh, garbage, so we're going to throw those away. Honestly, the big batteries are too. But I don't really have anything else that um, we can use right now. But I do want to go ahead and get this upgraded as soon as we can. Um, I have put sixes on some of our sweep jobs. Uh, we desperately need it. Also, this is outside of a stable. Uh, why is it outside of a stable? Ooh, that's because we don't have that, and that's not good. So let's go ahead and fix this, shall we? Uh, that would be a costly mistake to not see. So I have that going for us. Let's check out our auction over. I want to see if our polluted oxygen is kind of being tamed. It does look like it's being tamed. Our carbon dioxide sink is doing okay. Um, so we want to go ahead and probably dig out some of this. I'm going to go down here and free this area, I think. Even though I said I think we could do this last time, and we don't want to do that because of the heat. But we can go ahead and start working on the process of taming this guy. And this thing seems to go off pretty often. Um, we want to go ahead and start kind of building around it. And then we can go ahead and uh, once we know we want to start using it, we can um, do something a little bit more with it. Uh, it doesn't produce a ton of water, but we do have plenty of water spots we can kind of choose from at the moment. This one's actually pretty, this one's going to get chilly maybe. Or actually, the abyssal light is actually keeping it in bay. We'll have to dig through the abyssal light to get to this, um, but that should be probably dig in right here and then get to the biome through this nice little room right here that seems to be so casually set up for us. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start taming this guy and uh, working with it. And yeah, you can see that definitely the abyssal light got broken right here. Um, but we'll probably build some insulated tiles, uh, probably down and around here and then up. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need something for our dupes not to get absolutely scalded. Uh, but that way we can actually tame some of that heat and reclaim some of our base back because we need all of this building area down here if we really want it. This is a very vertical base um, that I'm taking a look at it. Uh, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and probably dig out I need to be careful about digging this out because I don't want our, to make our nature reserve go down. Um, it's still a nature reserve. I think it's well, how many tiles is right now? Room size. Yeah, so it's exactly 120 tiles. So if we dig out any more, uh, we are going to lose this room. And then uh, we'll probably close it off right here. We'll probably get a couple showers, maybe a couple showers over here. Uh, we just got to be careful because we are running out of room for it. Uh, we have a new achievement. So let's see what we got. Call any achievement earned. What do you have? We have the to pay the bills. You duplicate skill points to buy an entire branch of a skill tree. Very good. One down, and let's go ahead and get a better right here so Hostel Buffalo isn't running her butt off in a constant state of probably pain, I can imagine. Uh, so let's get that done. I'm going to throw the nine on that so we have that going. Uh, they, the ranch is back. Dark Souls also found a new hatch. We have a new buddy here we're taming. Look at that. So happy. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice and clean. Uh, we have plenty, it looks like, of food for our hatches. We have Igneous Rock. Uh, let's see. I want to check here on the sign here. We have sedentary rock, and I want to add igneous here. Uh, I'm going to close out all these new ones. Polluted dirt. We don't need to see that anymore. I think we're good there. And I do want to look at igneous rock. So igneous. We have 9.8 tons. So that is okay. We have enough to feed our hatches. You guys are starting to clean this up for me. I appreciate it. We have plenty of algae still to go around. We have 35 tons. And probably more to go as we can dig out this, these biomes. So not too worried about that. Um, you guys are slowly getting this done for me. If we look at our heat, it's starting to spread. It's not bad. We're not having to worry about it yet. But, you know, we're, we're starting we're starting to fight against it, which is good. Uh, we now have these insulated tiles here, so this should keep in a constant state now. But we're going to want to finish this off as soon as we can once we build into it. Uh, we're slowly getting uh, this, uh, this room. Uh, you can see here decor is going to be pretty bad in this box here, but we can actually make this work once we clean a lot of this up and make it nice. And plus the duplicates are probably not going to go through this room too often. But I built a little box so that when they run through here, it's not going to be too bad for them. I don't know where you're going. That's a very interesting way of going that way. Oh, you're providing here. Okay. So I might be able to just block this off. No, then they can't reach it. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll leave it as is. I'll probably think of some, a better solution here. This is kind of a big room to dedicate just for storage, but I don't know. It kind of looks nice. Uh, and then also, 
decor wise, we probably should do something different about here. This decor in here is not honestly that great. We'll probably put some pictures up or something eventually. We don't really have any furniture to go around in just yet uh, to kind of make you guys feel a little bit better, but that's okay. Uh, and then we have, uh, we probably need to worry about, I don't think we need to worry about water yet. Water's going to be down the line. I think we might be actually pretty okay for a, a while. Uh, Danzy is working on the research for the incubators so that when they lay eggs, and I, it's really hard to, we need to get this cleaned up so I can actually see what's going on here. So I'm going to take a look at our resources. Let's look at, let's look at eggs. That's not what I wanted at all. <clears throat> so if you look at egg. Uh, we don't have any units of hatchling eggs yet, so yeah, like I said, I want to kind of clean this up as soon as we can. I kind of would like to make that a, let's make that a seven. I don't know, bring that up a little bit. I want to get that sweeped out so I can actually see in here, um, sweep that up as well. Because it's kind of a pain in the butt to see, uh, what our hatchers are doing when we can't actually see in the hatch rooms. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean out this hatch room as well, so that we're going to go ahead and have that built for new hatches when we get there. And then we also want to get those Panku... Uh, set up in this tank as soon as we can. I want to get this tank built out as as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and get a job six on these, because this is going to be our built out tank here. So we're going to build those. Build those. I uh, need to get those swept up as soon as we can. Once again, the sweeping jobs will happen as they come, um, but we'll get those done eventually. Fire pole. Uh, we can use metal ore. Uh, we have forty five thousand of it. I'm okay with that, especially if it'll help with our commutes, uh, so that you guys are able to get down and around things quickly. So let's go ahead and build this all the way down to about here for right now. And the same on this side. Um, let's go ahead and build on. Uh, I'm going to build those on the interior part of the base. So let's go all the way down as far as we can go. It's about there as well. Actually, let's go ahead and build it down here just so you guys aren't having to climb through the CO2. Uh, we have we have plenty of ore to go around for it. So let's go ahead and get that connected up. Very good. All right. So you guys will build those and have a better way to get around the base. At least going down. Um, you guys are building out our water tank here, which is really good. Hopefully this doesn't mess up all of our water here. I don't think it should. Yeah, I'd make sure you breathe. Don't do that. Okay, good. Uh, do we have any hatches? Oh, we have another hatch. Oh, perfect. We'd love to see hatches. Um, I'm probably behind. Not gonna lie. We're, we're probably a little behind, but that's okay. We, you know, we have the printing pond for an emergency if we really need it. We have the mealwood to go around. We have 18,000 kilocalories. Not bad. You know, we're, we're doing OK. Uh, this has no power because we haven't generated any power for this. So we need to make sure that this is actually generating power because this stuff is going, you know, it's it's in a it's in a sterile environment, which is fine. Um, I don't think any of our food is going to expire. If we take a look, our muckroot uh, muckroot doesn't expire anyway. Also, we don't really have anything else other in here than muckroot. Also, I really hate the micro musher. That's just that's terrible. That's a terrible looking thing. Anyway, all right. So let's go ahead and get that going. Also, I found out a really cool thing. We can actually make all that go away with all, of, you know, Alt S, which I know that's what I've been doing to take our thumbnails, but to just kind of get rid of the UI, just like oh, take it in for a second. But all right, back to work. Also, I just would like to point out, so this is an achievement run. We're going to point out every time I get an achievement. It's not raw. Have a duplicate. Eat any cooked meal and prepare to the trick girl and gas range. So, yeah. It's nice seeing this all fill out. It's going to be even nicer when we see these three go away. Uh, so you can see super sustainable. Uh, we just we've done 1700 of 20, uh, 240,000. We're still a ways off, but we'll get there hopefully eventually. So anyway, I want to report that we got a new achievement. Not a very big achievement, but hey, it's still an achievement nonetheless and makes us feel a little bit better about what we're doing here. So let's go back to work. OK, so to report, we now finally have our incubators. So I'm going to go and start, uh, start setting up some incubators. I don't really know much about this, so I'm going to set up some basic stuff at the moment uh, just so we have it running. But I know that you need possibly need it powered for a little bit, but you can turn off that power. So I think there's like some timers that we can do with it. So that means we're going to need automation. Um, so I might go ahead and at least work with the jumbo batteries that we have um, and wait for our smart batteries until we can start working towards the hydrogen generators. Uh, which we do not have at the moment. So we may need to go and work towards that. I think power and automation. Uh, I, I think we should go ahead and get some of this. We probably need the cycle sensors. Um, so I can actually, I, I've heard that the time sensors that we kind of need, uh, at least if we want to maximize our hatch growth rate. So I might go ahead and start working on getting this done. But I do, just so people aren't wasting their time running so much, because duplicate labor is extraordinarily important. And just so people aren't wasting their time on power wheels so much, we may want to go ahead and start working on getting a hydrogen generator going. Um, so I think what I might do is I might go ahead and get our hydrogen, our power regulation going. 
And also, if we can get these conductive wirings, that's going to help with our decor as well, which again will help our morale. So I might go ahead and start working towards this stuff and at least go ahead and get some of our basic hydrogen generation going. And then we need smart batteries after that, so I can start building that. Um, I, I'm going to need automation too. We're going to—I need a lot of things here, but one thing at a time. All right, so we finished our box here, um, and in order to kind of fully complete our box, uh, I'm actually going to close off this area right here because if I look at my heat index here, this should be fine. The abyssal light is holding off that, so we can actually utilize this part of our base which is fine. We want to make sure this is closed off though right here. So I think what I might do, unfortunately, we have this bit of mealwood that we're trying to keep alive. Um, I'm going to want to deconstruct this. So we'll get, deconstruct that um, at some point. As long as Ecor doesn't go in there and actually trap himself, then I think we'll be good. It may stay there, that's fine. But we do want to find a way, because this heat is eventually going to spill down through here. So I didn't really consider that all that much, did I? Hmm. We're going to figure out a way to fix that. Uh, there's not a really a good way for us to get around here. We could make this go up one more, but I think the way I wanted to do this was I wanted to put. And I'm going to I think I'm going to go ahead and drop this. So let's go ahead and dig this out. So if I dig this out, we're going to drop all of our water. And that way I have a better wa bigger water tank. That would be amazing. So let's go ahead and get our ladders going. I think I'm going to have some ladders on this side as well so that you guys can climb up and down. Um, do that something like that i don't know. not really needed but we'll figure that out we'll probably throw some paku in here and cook those up because once again paku are going to be used for that uh we need someone to refrigerate that if possible um that would be nice uh, i know hitch is probably on duty to do that um we can see our jumbo battery is doing a little bit better for us we can see i've got hitch and uh hostile on the generator which is another reason why i wanted to get some power generation going other than this this is not a great solution um but it is a it is our solution at the moment. So I think what I might do is I might lower this to about 20, 30 percent. Just so they're able to do chores a little bit more. And then they'll come over here and handle that, I hope. Granted, this may not last through all, all of night um, based on the power generation that we're doing right now. I think we're OK. But like I said, we're eventually going to get this set up and all that. There's just a lot to do and a lot to focus on just so we're able to sustain our poor dupes. Oh, you guys have me as a, the head. Ooh, also, we're going to have to move this because this is going to start off gassing. Oh, I forgot about this. OK, that's fine. Um, we're going to want to move this for sure or get more water in here. Um, I wasn't I, I wasn't too prepared for this. OK, yeah, this is my fault. That's fine. Um, we're going to bottle that out eventually. That which reminds me I need to take all those tiles. I think that's going to start off gassing. If it does, that's OK. Actually, what do our germs look like? Our germs are actually pretty contained, which is nice. Um, oh. Oh, we didn't have this tile done. Oh, that's an emergency. Oh, someone, please. Oh, help the water. No. Oh, someone. Oh, the humanity. Don't clap. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was so bad. All of our water. Oh, no. Oh, I did not even see that. Oh, we lost a ton of water there. Oh, man, that's a really bad. That's a really bad mess up on my end. OK, um. OK, must have mucker in here. We're going to have to figure out a way to get all that water back. So. Oof, that is a big oof on my part. Let's go ahead and get where you guys can get down here. Oh, uh, we have we have no water. Well, we do have the ability to get water over here, which is fine. Um, yeah, we lost all of our water. Can we at least mop up a lot of this? OK, we can mop up some of that. A lot of our water down here. A lot of our water is down here now. We just completely destroyed these plants. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible stapes. Terrible. Just awful. Oh, man. OK, well, I'm going to go clean up this mess, so I will be back with you guys. OK, so we have a new dupe 
and hopefully this is going to be a decent dupe for us to help us because we definitely de desperately need some extra labor. Uh, we have some brine and we have some care packages or we have these two dupes right here. We have excavation and science, which is not terrible. Decreased air consumption rate, which could be good and increased our core morale bonus and but it cannot do it decorating errors, which is fine. And decreased strength. Uh, not really great for bottom of stomach. We definitely don't want right now. So bubbles, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say no to bubbles. Um, excavation and science. This could help. This could help Danzy with research. Yeah, so I think we'll take this, Lindsay, and this is going to be. T Make sure I get your name right again. I already, already, already forgot. It's a T run. There we go. I do apologize to you. So we have T run as our new duplicate. Welcome to the colony. To you, and thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. All right, so T U, let's go ahead and get your priority set. And if you can, you're going to help Danzy with researching. So T U will help with Danzy with researching if she is able to. Um, she will also dig um, if she's not researching. So she will help Kevin out with doing that. So that is going to be good. And we have some new skills. Let's go ahead and get those done. It's also keeping an eye out for our morale. Uh, Lindsay does not have or sorry, T U doesn't have a lot of morale going for her. Uh, we can go ahead and I'm probably going to go ahead and set up for, for digging. Uh, just so we're going to get those a lot of those jobs out of the way or I can go for an early sweep. But let's go ahead and let's go science. Let's do science. Let's go and knock out our science as quickly as possible. Ecord, uh, let's get you to critter ranching, too, so you can help uh, Dirt Souls with that, because we are getting to the point where we're having a lot more critters, which is good, because I think Ecord and Dirt Souls, and this is really dumb of me if I didn't do this. Yeah, OK, so really what we need to do is have Ecord on this. Actually, wait, Ecord is a is Ecord an early bird? No, he's not. So let's move Ecord up here. Uh, to that shift. Let's move. See, Kevin is down here, so T you can stay up here. Hitch, let's get you down to the night shift. So Hitch will be down here. And let's get. So Hitch and Hostel, they'll kind of take turns on the wheels. That's good for me. Okay, I think that's good for our shifts at the moment for our dupes. All right, so we're trying to recover some of this water that we've lost. As you can see, it's kind of bad. Um, I'm working on it. We can sweep up some of it, but there's a lot that's stuck down here, uh, which is unfortunate. I'm going to take a little heat, heat overlay. All right, so the heat is start, starting to spread there, but it's not too bad. We're going to we, I need to tame this thing sooner rather than later once it is done erupting. And we have a Draco. Ooh, and even better. So we have Draco and uh, we can actually get our suits. Oh, we can start heart ranging Dracos. Ooh, that would be, oh, we can actually just turn this room that already has a pl plenty of gases in it, too. Um. OK, we need we may focus on Draco farming because that may be some extra meat we can get. Uh, I'm going to slow down time a little bit. We're on ni cycle 19. So we're a one fifth of the way there. Um, ooh, we have a hatch up here, too. So let's go ahead and wrangle him and uh, have him go into one of our ranches here. Ooh, we have an egg as well. All right. So we do have. The new beds, not beds. We have the incubator and I need refined metal. OK, this is this is where I should have been more prepared. We don't have metal refinement, I don't think. Do I have metal refinement? If we don't, we need it desperately for those eggs. Um, Danzy is working on finishing that up, uh, but we honestly need the metal refinement sooner. So let's see. Refine. Uh, rock crusher, I think is what we're looking for. Rock crusher. Uh, we do have the rock crusher. OK, great. So let's take a look at that. I believe that's a station. Is that a station? No. What is that? Is it refinement? Yes, that is refinement. So rock crusher. We need this going. Um, I might put this thing up here because it does. It does it produce a lot of heat. I don't think it does actually. I don't think it does. Uh, but we do. And this thing uses a lot of power too. So we're gonna have to make sure people are on this. Um, probably gonna put the. Ooh man, my game just hitched up there. Ooh whoa, the rock crusher go. There it is. Um. I don't want to put this in a place where, but it's going to cause some carbon dioxide. So I'll probably put it down here um, for right now. So let's make this a, uh, we need to make sure we don't dig out too far. We don't want to dig out uh, to where the water can possibly break through. Um, so I'll probably put it here and that way we have someone uh, that can work there. And that's where our rock crusher will go. Hopefully that piece of sandstone doesn't fall out. All right, so we're getting hatches in, which is good. And then any excess hatches we have, we're going to cook up. Um, I could probably automate that process, and I would need to look on how to automate that process. Um, that is definitely something I should do. But once again, I'm trying to figure out a lot of our water situation here now, considering we have no water whatsoever, which is probably going to halt our research. So we need to fix that. 
Um, let's deconstruct some of these, and yeah, let me let me see if I can fix this real quick. Okay, some of our dupes have hypothermia just because I'm making them work in the uh, water way too long. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad. It says we have insufficient oxygen generation, which we do. In all honesty, we are not doing too great. Um, I don't know why our oxygen diffusers aren't going off. I mean, it's not like it's not terrible. It's you know, it could be it could be much worse. Uh, we do have an oxygen pocket up here. Um, and our carbon dioxide is starting to fill up quite a bit, and that's because this water pushed all that up. And you guys can't really get down here to fix this um, without, you know, having these fire poles done. Um, so we really need to start getting our carbon dioxide going, uh, because if we don't handle this sooner or later, then the, the colony is going to suffocate. Uh, so we do want to get that done as soon as we can. We have a couple of hatch eggs. We have three hatch eggs now. Um, we are going to need to get these in incubation, uh, because if we don't get them in incubation... They are not going to, um, we're not going to be able to do anything with them. So we're going to have to get copper ore to copper. So it's going to go and say 10, uh, 10 tons of it right now so that we have that. And then I want to go ahead and do priority six on these wires so that we can actually start crushing these rocks. Because we desperately need those for our incubators so that we uh, can go ahead and get those done. Um, I think this little pocket here is working if I look at the decor bonus. I think it is. I think it's housing it. So it's, I mean, granted, they only have certain ranges. I think it's only has like a certain range on it. So I don't, honestly, I don't need this here. I could deconstruct these if I really wanted to, which I might because our duplicates are, you know, having to take the time to just run over those. So I'm going to go and do that. Um, You guys are going going to uh, build this. So we have that. We have those jobs set up. So whoever has operating will come down here and do this. Um, if we have it done, Hitch is going to come down here. He's going to go punch this thing. And as you can see here, it's killing our drain. It's killing our battery quite, quite quickly. Um, so Hostel Buffalo will probably have to come down here and work on this, which is once again why I need to work on our hydrogen generation. So I've got this whole thing set up right here. Um, it says unreachable just because we haven't built this area out, but this is where we're going to start doing this. This is where we're going to start putting our electrolyzers. This is where we're going to, you know, start working with all this because all this gas is going to move up there. And so to facilitate this is what I could do is honestly put insulated tiles right here. That way our oxygen kind of gets trapped up here and then our hydrogen goes up here. I can make a this is a this is a very, very simplified spawn. This is not a major spawn in the slightest, um, but all our hydrogen is going to go that way. It's going to float up here and then we'll have our oxygen go um, kind of stay down in this area. And it honestly, it'll probably be eventually down here. Um, but we have to make sure that we filter. We're going to have to use a gas filter. Uh, for this, I'm I don't have the resources at the moment to do a full spawn, but I want to go ahead and get some power generation other than running on the wheel so that you guys are actually able to do something else. So this is a good solution at the moment and what I'm planning on using uh, for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set up some basic electrolyzers, uh, go and get those set up and uh, so that we are able to and our hydrogen generators are probably just going to go down here we'll probably, or actually right here. I'll probably have like one or two. I honestly probably too have one there, one there, and then have two electrolyzers. Maybe just uh, actually maybe not even do that. We maybe only need one. We can see. Um, but we'll have like a basic um hydrogen generator right there. And then I'll put an extra one just as an overflow. And then we can have our basic um electrolyzer here. This is not I just I don't know if this is gonna be great. And you guys let me know down below what you think about the solution. Um it's just a solution at the moment, it's nothing special. Um, but I'm going to have like two going for right now. I have two of those. I think it's like, I think it's actually one per two. I think you can do that. Uh, let me let me do some research real quick. Okay, so by the looks of it, it's kind of a one to one ratio. So I think this is perfect for right now and we can get that going. All right, so that is a preemptive thing. I honestly have way too many jobs going for these guys, uh, but you guys are doing as best as you can. T is on here. Derp Souls is on here as well. Um, you're having to take a bathroom break. So let's go ahead and pause this at the moment. Ooh, man, we're not doing that. Our, yeah, this is our power is what's killing us at the moment. Um, and we just don't have enough operators going for us. Uh, Hitch will probably take a break at some point. But let's just see if we have enough to go ahead and get us some critter, critter, um, uh, some, what do they call it? Incubators. Uh, is it a station? No, it is refinement. No, not that either. Food? Food. Uh, no, we still need 200 kg. So I think after Hitch finishes this one, and unfortunately, this is a very inefficient way to do this. Um, from everything I've learned, this is pretty terrible on generating a proper amount of refined metal. 
Hostile Buffalo and Hitch are both having to generate power to get this thing running. All right, our research is done. Thank goodness. Thank you, Danzy. All right, so let's go ahead and we wanted, we got our, we got our hydrogen generation stuff and going. We're going to need a gas filter most likely, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. Um, oh, there's so many things I want. Probably smart home at the moment. Oh man, I don't know, guys. Uh, research is kind. Of, you kind of have to pick the right things. We can probably smart battery. If we, if we yeah, we, we need we need smart batteries, and we're gonna need gas filtration. So let's work towards that. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna consider, I'm gonna move T to the night shift so that she can actually research when Danzy is sleeping. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna move uh, T down here so T can actually. Have something when Danzy is sleeping. Uh, unfortunately, Tiu doesn't have the full skill. I actually know she does. Yeah, we do have that first. Let's get Tiu her hat as well. So she has advanced researching. So Tiu can do that while Danzy is sleeping. And we can kind of kill uh, two birds with one stone on that front. Uh, we have our killer calories are still okay. We're doing even on those. Uh, we've kind of maintained a neutral killer calorie count, which is pretty decent. Um, our power generation is once again pretty garbage. We're Kevin's up here. He's starting to dig. And get a lot of this done for us uh because we desperately need to go ahead and get some uh different uh, sustainable power uh we can still use these but we need something that is going to you know be more beneficial to our dupes uh we'll have a smart battery probably right here between these two it's gonna produce a lot of heat but it should be fine um there will be heat that goes through this door i think it has some thermal protection but i don't i don't know how much exactly um, but hopefully that'll be enough to, to at least keep the heat at bay. If it's not, then we'll have to rethink our, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get hot in this room. And I think our electrolyzer should be fine. Um, it's like I said, it's going to get hot, but I don't think it's going to get hot enough to where our, our machines are going to break. If it does, then we're going to have to make them out of like gold amalgam or something eventually. And we don't have any gold amalgam, I think, unless we go right here. So we can see that there. So that's what we're dealing with at the moment. Uh, once again, still trying to sweep up a lot of my mess down here. Uh, it's yeah. Yeah, we're, we're kind of racing. It's time. I feel like I think we're OK. But, you know, if I don't get things better then you know, we're going to start having issues. Uh, we have another hatch we're going to wrangle. So once again, hatches are very um, they're not far and few between. Thankfully, we've, we've actually got a good bit. We have three eggs available to us. So like, we're doing pretty good on hatches. Uh, we need to be careful and move these guys. Uh, they're glum. Why are you glum, buddy? What's wrong? Critter metabolism. I don't know why it's glum. Why are you glum? And they're in line. I think they actually like they made this part of a part of an update where actually the critters will get in line if they need to get groomed. So Ecord's helping with that. Uh, this is going okay. I don't think we can get a. So unfortunately, what I'm dealing with right now is a. Uh, we don't have enough of the refined metal. I was really behind on refined metal, which is very, very unfortunate. And that's kind of what the uh, the um, the inhibitor at the moment. Uh, we have 100 kg. We need at least to get a single to get another singular uh, incubator. We're gonna have to put it here and hang, handle that. Ecord is going to probably handle this guy up here. I hope there you go. Go get him, Ecord. We just have a ton of jobs and a lot to do and our dupes aren't able to keep up so we might need to get some more um some backup on our next cycle and once again we're gonna have to make sure we can feed all these and produce enough oxygen and i think we're gonna have to start relying on this um these uh electrolyzers up here for oxygen probably need to put an oxygen generator on this side so i might what i do uh put one over here the only thing about this is that we have to have dupes to supply these and that's just another job for them to deal with and uh yeah we don't really have a lot of that to go around unfortunately Dupe labor is very, very much a commodity, and we don't have it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that set up and then have that going for us. Need to get the water sieve as soon as I can so I can actually start working on our carbon dioxide um, <laughs> issue here. Which, uh, where is our water? Uh, are we at least close to getting it? I think we should be. It's right there. Um, yeah, so it's going to be part of our filtration once Danzy is done with the other research. Uh, once she's done with the autumn. Honestly, we probably go ahead and we should probably go ahead and focus on this. Um, because we're not we're not close to doing that just yet. So let me go down here and let me pick up the water sieve right quick. There we go. All right, so let's get that done. Let's actually make that her priority and she can get that done for us. So we're in cycle 20. Um, lots to do. Uh, <laughs> plenty of issues that are starting to come uh, to kind of sneak up on us. But we're getting to work on this uh, new spawn up here. 
uh, very by new and I mean, it is new. What I meant to say is this very um, haphazard put together spawn. Uh, we got our tank done today. We've completed some of our insulation for our base so that we're not too worried about uh, start uh, over. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, suffocating our dupes. But yeah, so that's that is going to be it, I think, for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, your feedback is greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to complete this achievement. We're going to very much try our best. Um, but yeah, without using coal, this is tough. This is I mean, you have to do refinement. Man, it's it's I I think I probably bit off more than I can chew. But hey, maybe that's the entertainment of it. Seeing if this uh, this uh, very new person to Oni can complete this gigantic objective. So we're going to we're going to keep going. We're going to do our best if we fail. And that's OK. But I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. And I hope you're enjoying it. But that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, wherever you may be. As always, thank you for spending some of your time here, and I shall see you in the next episode of Auction Not Included. Bye, everybody.